Hi, welcome to Hop and Learn with Afrin. Hope you all are doing well with your examinations. So today I have come with a new video, Befa important questions. So before going into the video, if you like my videos, please subscribe my channel and share it. So today, Befa important questions. I would like to start with Unit Five. So unit 5 the first question is from the following data from they have given some data sheet we need to find net worth to debit net worth to debit inventory turnover ratio net profit ratio and return on total assets return on total assets so they have given this table so from this table okay from this table you need to find these four ratio this is the full table okay from this you need to find net worth inventory net profit return on total ratio okay return on total ratio so this is a problem now next questions are explain the important of ratio analysis as technique for analyzing financial statement we need to explain the ratio of analysis ratio analysis as technique for analyzing financial statement this is important question okay next Define profitability ratio and discuss various types of profitability ratio. This is theory they will ask. Define profitability ratio and discuss various type of profitability ratio. Next, define turnover ratio and discuss various type of turnover ratio. Define turnover ratio and discuss various type of turnover ratio this you need to prepare theory and a problem theory and a problem next define liquidity ratio okay define liquidity ratio and discuss various types of liquidity ratio define liquidity ratio and discuss various type of liquidity ratio next what do you mean by term ratio what do you mean by the term ratio state the advantages and limitation of term ratio state the advantage advantages and limitation of ratio analysis next you need to prepare problems on all these things this is from unit 5 so unit 5 according to jnth paper and this corona pattern Eighth question A and B, fifteen marks. So one, it, there are two possibilities: direct fifteen marks. So theory problem or else direct a problem. Okay, theory prob theory and a problem or else problem. Next, we we'll would like to go through the unit four. Unit four. Okay. What is accounting principle? What is accounting principle? So explain in detail accounting concept. We need to explain in detail the accounting concept. This is the most important question. What is accounting principle? Explain in detail accounting concept. Okay. This. Next. What is accounting? What is accounting? Explain double entry system of books keeping. Double entry system of bookkeeping. This is also an uh, important question. Next, what are the rules of maintaining of books of account? What are the rules of maintaining of books of account? Explain. Important question. Okay, next. Problem on journal. This is the most important. Important. They may ask problem. Problems on journal entries. Okay. Next. Explain how a ledger account can be maintained. Explain 
how a ledger account can be maintained okay next problem on ledgers this is important question problems on ledger next what is trial balance what is trial balance this is a important question and problem on trial balance is also important next profit and loss problems problem on profit and loss okay this mostly i have picked only important which uh, which can come in examination now from unit 2 discuss briefly about elasticity of demand discuss briefly about elasticity of demand so this is mostly mostly they have asked so explain the law of demand state its assumption we need to explain the law of demand and state its assumption this is also they have asked what do you understand by elasticity of demand what are the factors on which elasticity of demand depend what do you understand by elasticity of demand and what are the factors on which elasticity of demand depends next how do you apply elasticity of demand in decision making explain how do you apply elasticity of demand in decision making this is a important question okay next enumerate the factor involved in demand forecasting enumerate the factors involved in demand forecasting okay next explain different method of demand forecasting this is also important explain different methods of demand forecasting explain different methods of demand forecasting next explain in detail the law of supply elasticity of demand demand forecasting a uh, law of supply how law of supply is helpful in decision making are four topics important in the unit 2 how is law of supply helpful in decision making this okay now from unit 1 what is business entity what is business entity what are different types of business entity what is business entity and what are different types of business entity what is joint stock company what is joint stock company discuss the okay discuss the source of capital required by a joint stock company we need to discuss the source capital source of capital required by a joint stock company next discuss various stages of business cycle describe the various stages of uh, business cycle this is also an important question and the next one comes okay distinguish between micro and macro economics so comparison between micro and macro economics and show their interdependence and we need to show their interdependence next what is inflation okay what is inflation what are the main causes of inflation okay what is inflation what are the main causes of inflation next we need to define the term inflation and impact of in impact on economics explain the impact on economics next discuss the nature and scope of business economics what discuss the nature and scope of business economics this is also mostly mostly only important questions i have gave here of theory next last and final third unit define production we need to define production discuss the various factors of production we need to discuss the various factors of production next how do you classify the cost how do you classify the cost explain next 
What is monopoly? What is monopoly? Explain its features and classification. State the causes of monopoly. Explain its features and classification. State the causes of monopoly. What is oligopoly? Oligopoly. State the features and what are the defect of all oligopoly? Oligopoly. Well, this is also important. Define monopolistic competition. What define monopolistic competition? What are its feature? Define monopolistic competition. What are its feature? This is also an important question. The next one. Define pricing. Define pricing. State the objective of pricing. Define pricing. State the objective of pricing. Next. Define break-even analysis. What are assumptions of break-even analysis? Define break-even analysis. And what are the assumptions of break-even analysis? So, these are important questions of BEFA. I don't have any connection with BEFA, but I have gathered the information and I have made up this video. So, please if you like this, please subscribe my channel and share it. Thank you.